Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to lesson number five of how to read the Quran. I'm Lakad Zaman. Today we're going to be discussing a few new letters uh, for you guys to try. So here goes. The letters today are as follows. So this shape, it looks like a D, doesn't it? A D, just the line missing. So this shape is actually a sound. Okay, which is da, da, da. So it looks like a D, da. Now, exactly the same shape again, but if it has a dot on top, so it has a dot on top, then this is now what we call the. Now, easiest way to remember this is like someone who has um, a lisp in their tongue and when they're trying to say Z they say Z the the so this shape if you're trying to say a cross between D and Z and it comes out as Z right, so imagine that that's dot on top it's stopping you from pronouncing it correctly so it's the okay the next two okay now this is like an R twisted over. So if you twist over this and you would turn it over all the way, it looks like an R. R. So this is, if it has a fatha on there, if it has a fatha, miss this fatha here, it would be pronounced as a ra. A ra. Okay, so a ra, ra, and there's a little roll to it, if you notice, ra. So da, the, ra, and exactly the same shape again, but this time with a dot on top. With a dot on top, it's actually pronounced za, za. Okay, so this ra is no longer a ra. The dot on top makes it pronounced as a za, za. So da, the, like the lisp, ra, and za with a z, za. Okay, now let's uh, rub this out and let's try with another symbol. Let's try it with a dhamma. You remember what a dhamma is? Yep, that, that curly uh, symbol at the top. So let's try it with that then. So how would you pronounce this with a dhamma? So do. Zu, ru, and yep, zu. Du, zu, ru, zu. Du, zu, ru, zu. Okay, and let's have a go with um, the final symbol, which is a kasra. Okay, kasra is pronounced with these as d, v. Ri, Z, D, V, Ri, Z, D, V, Ri, Z. Right, let's have a go at combining some letters now. So let's say we had this, we had this, and we had this. Okay, so this one has that. So let's say if it was... How would you pronounce this? The The Ru Ru And D Ru And D The Ru D Okay, so you can have a go at this as well Try and use other letters with this And so what we'll do now is The previous letters that we've learnt Let's combine all of them together and see what we can make out of all of this. So let's say we have that, 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 and that again, and that. So, okay, and you remember these? So, Okay, 
Okay, so this would be the. This would be ru. This would be b. And this would be ju. The, ru, b, ju. The, ru, b, ju. Okay, let's have another go then. Let's remove these and try something else. Okay, so. Okay, so okay, can you remember these? So ah or ah, and this next one would be two, but the two teeth two, and this is remember za. The R with the Z. So it's Z. And this is that coughing. So this would be Khu. A tu za khu. A tu za khu. Okay, excellent. Right, what we'll do now is in the next clip, inshallah, we'll incorporate what we've learned so far into a text from the Quran. So we'll try to apply what we've learned so far into a text of the Quran so we can see if we can identify these letters there. And again, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below and subscribe to the channel as always. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.